Are there things that keep you up at night? Do you have anxieties that bother you? Do you have financial stress? Is your Islam not where you want it to be? Is there anything in dunya that's bothering you in any way? Ikhlas is a means of alleviating your stresses in dunya before the hereafter. Look at the story of Ikrimah ibn Abi Jahl. Ikrimah, he spent a lifetime fighting against Allah and his messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Till the last hour when Mecca had fallen to the Muslims, Ikrima was still fighting against the Prophet ﷺ. He was a, a warrior, but a stubborn man indeed. And when he heard that Mecca had fallen to the Muslims, he couldn't bear living in Arabia anymore. He, de he decided to go towards Yemen and live there. His dad, Abu Jahl, had been killed anyway. His wife, Umm Hakim, had become Muslim, however. He made his way to the coast. His wife, she catches up. She said, Ikrima! I've just come from the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and he promised me that if you come to him, he will accept your repentance. He will not harm you. Because the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam pardoned all of the Meccans, all of the pagans, he pardoned them, except a few war criminals. He said, no, they are not to be pardoned. Akrimah was one of them. So Umm Hakim is saying, he's just guaranteed your safety. And I have it here in writing. He didn't even look at her. <laughs> He didn't even look at her and he got onto the boat and he made his way to Yemen. So upset that the Muslims had become victorious. And there as they were voyaging mid-sea, the boat began to move and the waves were like canopies and death was now imminent. Akrima began to mutter, shirki, prayers. Prayers calling upon the idols. So the captain said to him, akhlas, be sincere. Meaning single out your worship for Allah. Be sincere. La yunjika al-yawma illa al-ikhlas. During this moment, nothing will save you but sincerity. Akrima, subhanAllah, at that moment, he said, it was like as if the blinkers of arrogance had just been lifted from me. And I realized that I was just resisting the truth. I'm just running away from the truth. He said, oh Allah, if you save me, I will go to the Prophet wasallam and I will pledge allegiance to him. Allah saved him. Allah saved him. And he went back and he crossed into Mecca, pledged allegiance with the Prophet wasallam. And he said, part of my repentance is that every battle you fight, I will be with you. Akrima, he did this fighting courageously alongside of the Muslims till he got to the battle of Yarmouk. And he was found breathing his last during the battle. And there was three of them who were breathing their last. Al-Harith ibn Hisham and Abdullah ibn Ayyash and Akrima ibn Abi Jahl. And they brought water for Akrimah to drink something before he dies. He said, I think my brother needs it more than me. Give it to him. So they went to... A, a, the other, he said, no, I think my, my brother needs it more. They gave it to him. He said, no, I think Akrimah needs it more. They brought it back to Akrimah. He just died. They went to the second and he just died. And they went to the third and his soul had left him as well. What saved him, brothers? What saved him? What brought back the wife of Akrimah? Because she said to him, if you don't become Muslim, I'm finished with you. What brought back his wife? What saved him from the sea? What brought him Islam? What gave him martyrdom? Ikhlas. Sincerity. It's a savior from your worldly stresses. Allah supports the sincere ones in dunya before the hereafter. 